don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. It's pros and it's cons, I kick it with cons The nigga that's hoping that they get a bond And we got a bond above and beyond Come sit at the table and eat with the dons We slide no niggas as soon as it's done Checking you niggas like fuck as you want I'm coming like Neo, you know I'm the one Call you a bitch cause you you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to DNA, first of all, and beloved, before I even get started. Um, before you stick a fork in me, come take this walk with me. So, DNA is coming off of his battle with Av, where he had a phenomenal performance. His third round was outstanding. I seen people saying, yo, you need to comment on how long his third round was. If niggas ain't stopping, the round's still popping. Like, it is what it is. Like, I don't really give a fuck about how long somebody raps. If the opponent, if there's no time keep, you be time keeping the time keeper. Got it clicking like a ticket, whatever Loaded Luck said in that round versus verb. Um, Y'all gotta understand, if a nigga standing in front of an eight minute round, if he's standing there in front of an eight minute round, if he's not saying, yo, what the fuck is going on? It is what it is, person getting that round off. Um. He calls out Loaded Lux in his battle. And I was having a conversation with my guy, uh, Gerald McCoy, uh, Tampa Bay Buck in Tampa Bay, going back to the Super Bowl. And we were saying, uh, he was saying that DNA versus Lux would be his first choice. Like if Lux was to come back and battle somebody in this era, and then we threw around names like Danny and like Chilla or whatever the case may be. I was more so like, I thought Chilla, that's just me, because I think Chilla's the coldest right now. And Danny's cold too, you know what I'm saying? Danny just 3 0 Arsenal and shit like that. But do y'all really, do y'all think I want to know from y'all? This is what I want to know. Do y'all think that DNA should get Lux? Because honestly, Loaded Lux has done a lot in his career, you know what I'm saying? It's helping with the battle rap structure, like being the, the top figure. But the only thing he has not done. Recently, I mean him versus Cal, he battled a rookie when Cal was a rookie and shit like that. But he hasn't battled on like a volume coming up, you know what I'm saying? He battled Verb, he's battled like legends and shit like that. He's battled Verb, he battled Hollow, you know what I'm saying? Like on his come up, but I'm talking about you ain't seen a loaded Lux on a card. Like, boom, this is going down. How Beasley do it? February 15th. Volume 7 or Volume 8 or some shit like that. You're not just seeing Loaded Lux versus a nigga. Boom. Like said rapper, DNA or no shit like that. He took Surf, but him and Surf had legacy. But niggas already kind of knew that Surf was not going. I don't think there was nobody that thought Surf was going to actually bring three rounds for Loaded Lux. I don't think so. I surely didn't. I knew Lux was going to win. And even in that win, was it really the greatest Lux performance that we ever seen? No. But, again, a win is a win. It doesn't matter. Like, as long as a nigga win, it's how they win. So, Loaded Lux responds to DNA's uh, jabs and says, do not answer. DNA, with the hand emoji over the face, basically saying, do not answer. And then DNA responds and says, you smart. You always been healthy, saying like, you smart for staying inside. Like if you come outside, you already know what time it is. Look, I've been rocking since the cradle. Ball fight, my jaw tight, my chin is stable. My kennel cable won't be stripped by any label. We got the sticks together like chinks at the dinner table. Dope slingers, the dope stranglers. Shows hoes, hang out the roads like boat anchors. Coat hangers, we in the arms. Launching on no names. I've been battling scarecrows. Shipping a no brain. <laughs> he hoping Bell come through. The jail, feel like shampoo. That was the cell sun blue. The brick get frail, the piff go stale. It's like a nigga hustle always seen the 
tip with the scale. I need scripts in the mail. I paint the slum block vivid with that young pot kicking. It's always some cop frisking, heavy metal banging, but we don't let the punks rock. And the nigga with the jump shot clicking, always the gunshot victim. Loaded man, lions den. Force in battle rap, like I know a lot of people give them flag. Gary, I know, I know, I know, I know. But at the same time, if you're going to take, 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 take away from somebody, you got to give them props because DNA literally did this, his battle versus Av, which is the battle of the night and which should be watched again more than once. Boole, gang, 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 or bang. But um, he did good. He just battled Geechee two weeks ago. Turned around, battle Av. Two of the most dangerous punchline. Geechee's the biggest star one of the biggest stars in battle rap, Av is getting his first taste of caffeine. And to have the performances that he did versus both, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Geechee shit kind of debatable. The Av is more so his way. Y'all got to get... Yo, niggas be hating. Like, y'all, if you don't like a nigga, like I said in my last blog, you don't have to like someone to give them their props and admiration. There are people who do the same thing that I do. Blog talk about battles. They don't do the same views that I do, so they'll get on their camera and they'll talk about me. I'm never gonna talk about another blogger, and I tweeted this yesterday. Like, nowadays, people will try to trick you out of your spot. So for instance, insert blogger name makes a bunch of blogs talking about me. If I go on my camera and start dissing them, talking about them, talking down on them, cursing and all of that, what they gonna do? They gonna go to YouTube, they gonna file a, they gonna file a claim, they're gonna say that I'm bullying, and then my channel's gonna get taken down. You can't let people trick you out of your spot. Like, that's just the, the lesson of the day. Don't let nobody trick you out of your spot. If it was really an issue, you'd be trying to see me in traffic. You would not be trying to see me on the internet. That, that's just not the way it goes. I've never had anybody hit me up and say, yo, where's your address? Yo, I'd like to see you. Yo, we, we need to handle this. So, if it's just on the internet, they just doing it for attention, it's for clout. Now back to DNA. So, you gotta give him props if you're taking away. You can't subtract without adding. The man really went into his re repertoire and said, you know what? What I'm doing might not be the right thing. So I'm gonna take the gun bars out, add some real life, teach people how to build their brands. He literally talked to Av about not posting his mixtape, not promoting his brand and shit like that. And Av posted his mixtape. He's, today, I seen a little repost about it. And I'm not saying that's because of the battle that he posted his mixtape, because I know how messy y'all be. But people can plant the seeds that help people grow. Like, yo, you have a brand. You're not, you, you, you're not promoting. You're not doing this. DNA has a whole YouTube channel where he's getting other artists to come on. He does face-offs. He does so much to help build himself. And if you're going to take away, just make sure that you add something. Um, for Loaded Lux, I don't feel like it's a code 10 emergency for him to respond to any of these guys because it was like two, three niggas that took shots at him. Lux took a shot, Danny took a shot, DNA took a shot. Like, it was, these niggas was lined up taking shots at him, at him. So I don't think it's a code 10 emergency. Maybe scale of 1 to 10, maybe like a 2 or 3 right now. I, I, I don't really see. Because then you have to remember if this battle, if one of these guys were to get a battle, URL has to invest in it. And that's the thing. They were quick to invest in Surf because Surf has a name, you know what I'm saying? Like the Verb had, only reason why they invested in the Verb battle is because ARP was going after it. So like they do, they do shit like that. Like when they know another nigga wants to do some shit. It's like, a, it's like when you know another, a nigga, another nigga trying to holler at your baby mom, you're going to be, if you still kind of want to be with her, you're going to be a little extra nice to try to get your bitch back because you don't want to see her with another nigga. They do that shit. Like, if another league wants a battle, they will book that shit just to prevent them niggas over there from getting it. The niggas are grimy. They did the same shit with Don Marino versus Romney. Another league had the shit. They would have never gave Don Marino Romney. But we'll give them to you over here just so you don't go over there. But it is what it is. Um, but the question is, does DNA deserve Lux? Does Shilla Jones? Does Danny Myers? or none of the above. I just wanna know what y'all perspective is because it's just something that was on my mind and I had a little time today before I go to work later to blog, you know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all wanna see the thoughts and see the perspectives. Overall, Smack Volume 7, 
I'm gonna give it a seven. Uh, I give it a seven. Not the greatest event ever. Not the worst. Uh, again, I'm still sick over that Verb versus Rock with no crowd reaction. I don't know who who thought that that was the thing to do. That that shit was nasty. Um, but you had a couple other good battles, and Chilla Jones leveled up to where he's calling out Lux now. Everybody's calling out Lux. What the fuck? And DNA DNA wants that battle, but Lux is like, uh, uh. Basically, that's what the what the main premise of this. Lux said, "Do not answer." Other than that, man. Hope everybody's doing good in their perspective lives and shit like that. I do got another bag drop on the way. I do got more shit going away to help improve the blogs. You know, I just got a new crib and shit um, working. And I appreciate everybody who um, peeps this content, whether religiously or in passing, because without you guys, the numbers wouldn't be where they are. The haters wouldn't be where they are. <laughs> and I would be where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, salute to my guy Showtime SP. Uh, we got more footage on the way, more blogs on the way. Um, respectfully, respectfully, without being disrespectful, I'm gone. Niggas, as soon as it's done, checking you niggas like fuck as you want. I'm coming like Neo, you know I'm the one. Call you a bitch cause your hair in the bun. Huh, I smoke like a roster. If this was a league, you would make the roster. Niggas and pastas running your casa. Addicted to money, I think I need sponsors. Fucker, then leave when she called me a monster. So animated, these niggas go 